thousand dollars a month at sixteen years old? Yes, yes, sir. Bob? Are you telling me the truth? Yes, sir. I do e-commerce, so I run drop shipping websites through Shopify. So we with my mother. She is a very traditional mother, and I know the fact that she hasn't really adapted to how everything's going on the internet these days. My question is, she has no idea I'm doing it, and I have all my profit stored in a PayPal account because she is going on my bank account, and I would love to tell her, but how much oh, is in your PayPal account? A little bit over three hundred thousand. Yeah. So you've been doing this for four or five months? No, it, it's been about eight months. Um, the first few months were slow, um, and then uh, it picked up. It picked up rather fast. Here's kind of what's going on in my head. You, if you have the ability to make fifty thousand dollars a month, you know, as soon as you're eighteen years old, you can go do whatever you want to do, right? Right. And that's just about a year away. Yeah. Wait a minute. You're making. The comments of this video was quite surprising, but I do resonate with it very, very heavily. And that is like it's along the lines of don't tell your mom until you move out. Money changes poor minds, which is very true. It links to what I want to say as well. As an Asian, if I ever told my mom, she would take the money and be like, as your guardian, I would have to be responsible and hold your money for you. That's exactly what most crazy mothers who don't manage money well do, would do. They would buy, then buy a ton of things they can't afford, like a new house, and then go under after you move out. Lol. Which is completely and utterly true. When I had my birthday one time, I had a quite a significant amount in a few hundreds, mother took it all away. Listen, guys. What's wrong with you, cat? Pony? Mm -hmm. Come here. Come here, buddy. Whoa. This is crazy, bro. This is bonkers. Anyways, as... If you reach a certain level of success, like you make a few million. More, like most, 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 most millionaires, like Andrew Tate said, as well. The top G himself. He was like, my mother, I love her to death. She raised, she used all her blood, sweat, and tears to raise me. However, when she would come home, she would stress about the stupidest things, like dirty dishes and dirty clothes. And if there was a s slight bit of unwashed clothes, the, hang the clothes hadn't hang uh, been hung. Some stupid shit like that, which is not worth worrying about. So what happened there? Uh, what well, uh, happened after? Which is what Andrew Tate said. He said, how can you trust? A person like that to run a multinational, they can't. Yeah, I, I made that in, pretty incoherent, but basically, Andrew Tate's mother stresses over small bullshit, and obviously, props to her, she, she was a single mother, she raised Andrew and Tristan and their sister with all, the, all her capability. However, the fact remains, you should, you should stress over these smallest little details, which were indicative of a person incapable of handling stress. And with that amount of money, with 300 grand, how are you going to tell your parents that when they've never handled the stress of handling that much money? You can't. Money changes poor minds. Completely and utterly true. Like, you shouldn't tell them. Don't tell your mom until you move out. Money changes. Exactly. Completely and utterly true. These people don't know how... Did your mother know how to deal with 300k? Family, even. I think once you make a certain amount of money, people come weird. They get jealous. They get envious. The negative emotions that humans have... The negative emotions that humans have harbored for thousands of years. Jealousy, envy, hatred, anger. It goes to you. The successful kid. And if I do make a certain level of income, I'm not going to tell my mom. It'll be much lower. She won't know. And she's watching the video, fair enough. And then she brings it up to me like, Jimmy, what are you doing? <laughs> what is it to explain this video? She's not going to watch. She's not going to watch this video. And if she does, then I'll, t I'll, I'll tell her a thing. What I still make, but if I make a, like an insane amount, I'm not going to tell my family or my mum. None of them. Because I can't begin to trust them. It's quite, not necessarily stressful, but quite worrisome I, I don't think these people know how to handle that much money money changes poor minds completely and utterly true I don't think if you were in the position of that and if your family was broke never tell them you have a lot of money it's quite insane 
So it says, it's quite, it's sad to see that kids have to protect their money from their parents. Once you are set off for yourself, help your parents all you can. But until then, your money, the money you want is yours and yours alone. Never to ha ha tell your family how much you make. They will find any excuse to try to take some or all of it. Don't tell her after you moved out of her house. She'll think it must be illegal. It must be illegal. Then you need to stop. PayPal ends the chat. Oh, you're 16? Oh, you are giving me all your money? How kind of you? See in two years when you're old enough. That was shit. Just give her $50 until it's part time money you've been working. She wouldn't ask things are really traditional. She might even respect you more. That is fucking smart. Dude, just give her $50 a month and tell her it's part time money you have been working. She wouldn't ask a thing, and if she's really traditional, she might respect you even more. <laughs> this guy for Moose the Goose. That guy is for Moose the Goose. <laughs> Fuck Natalie Mom, you need to not tell PayPal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if if you think if you're second guessing all this shit, and you think you shouldn't tell them, you probably shouldn't tell them. It will end up in your detriment. I'll tell you how much money I make, though. Mm. And it's as if you know what. Mm. You know what? Mm. Mm. You mean you can what? What you had to can what? So warm and fluffy. Whoa, I'm getting lost in the warmth. The fluffiness. Yeah, yeah. I put him in my bed. I'm gonna throw him, okay? He's chilling. And my bed broke. I'm not chilling. Um, I think I don't know. Money changes people in a very, very weird way. In a very, very weird way. Like, like I said before, with ugly emotions, they get very ugly. Especially when you, when you start outlining your parents, they're gonna want some of that shit, and they're gonna spend it on stupid shit. Your hard-earned money, they will spend on stupid shit. This is majority of the people. Uh, pe this applies to the majority of people because the majority of people, their parents have not handled a huge amount of wealth, and when they do get their hands on a huge amount of wealth, they don't know what the fuck to do with it. It's like that common saying: a lottery winner usually that earns a million dollars from a lottery takes three years on average to lose it all, to go back from 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 the million dollars to back to where they were before, broke. It applies to everyone in all aspects of life because their identity is not as a part of a person that is wealthy that 300k is nothing to them and it's like you'll find money for the kids no no no, no. that 300k bitch I'm gonna use that to pay off the mortgage bitch I'm gonna use that to pay the groceries bitch I'm gonna use that to pay for my new my new Gucci bag they're gonna just use your money and this, this is very weird we live in a weird climate where your own you can't you worry you have to be worried of your own parents you're not even sure if your own parents you can trust your own parents I don't think I could trust my own parents I don't know about you. If you can, then amazing, phenomenal, brilliant. But for me, the fuck, it, no, I can't. It's so it's it's a weird position. This guy has a really class response. Someone asks him, "Wouldn't it be get? Wouldn't it be better to know sometimes and get rid of that? That's why you gotta wait until you move out. Gotta have somewhere if it's toxic. I'm saying move out, then tell your mom and bless her. You could easily take care of your mom. She deserves it for taking care of you. If she did, in parentheses, my parents raised me to be a gentleman. No matter what I do, I don't think I could ever repay them. But at the same time, I know I always have to put myself first to maintain success and be able to to do those things. Everyone, everything is one giant balancing act, and once you." You figure yours out. That's what life is about. In the end, complete fulfillment. I think taking your parent, taking care of your parents, and your parents knowing that you're rich is beautiful. However, your parents having a grip on your finances is a very, very ugly situation. Because the money you earn, right? Yeah, everyone's right. The PayPal shit was stupid. Um, if she's checking your bank accounts as well rigorously, she knows you're up to something. 
the trust there, like you're gonna be waiting till you're 18, just chill for chill for a year, wait till you're 18, work work some job, give some money sometimes, fifty dollars a month, like except for shopping, and then that has your big fucking for me. So I don't think about that. Talk about information is power, <laughs> seriously. And then she will respect you more for working a part time job. It's crazy. My own mother respected me more for getting a job compared to making my own business in sales, prospecting, talking to clients, trying to make trying to make a thing, put my name out there. My own mother respected me more for getting a job and being in school, where I hated school and I hated my job and I hated my life in all aspects of life. It's very weird how traditional these people are, and I don't hate them for it, I don't hate my mother for it, but I'm certainly not going to fucking copy them, because the person that gives you advice can only bring you to the place that they are, it's very very weird, alright guys, very very um, wake up without having any part of your body which is disturbed, live a normal day, it starts really with the symptoms, it starts walking, it starts meeting people, it starts doing things that cost you energy. This gives us structure and tells our body, look, in the morning you wake up, energy, raise up, be active, prepare yourself to do activity. But at the same time, as to learn to actively do things. If you do this too much, meaning investing energy, investing energy, investing energy, this sometimes is very similar. You're just taking the charge out of the battery. So you're just using the phone all the time, but you have no time to plug it into the charger, which will also mean that later on, battery is going to be dead. The system is not going to function anymore. So that means it is also important to have something in your life where you really feel this is something that regenerates you. This wake up. What regenerates me? I don't know. It's a fucking. It's like a whole bunch of fucking nothing, dude. This kid is having a hard time. This is very good short man. I... Yeah. If she's a traditional mother, there's one of two things. A good traditional mother will support you and want you to simply help out here and there with their own possible and tell you to keep it all. A radical traditional mother will take it from you and say you're not ready for that money yet and try to control your business and maybe even steal money from her enjoyment. It's your choice. I can't lie. I can't lie. That is my mother. I can't. I, it's hard. I don't trust them at all. At all. Whatever. When I'm bowling, I don't care. I just you know. I don't care. But at this point in time, like even if even if they talk, they they sort of like, for example, they're like a hundred thousand, right, a month or every two months, like fifty k a month. Like this guy, I would say I'm straight up to them. Okay, I'll get. I'll help pay the bills. I'll help buy food. But anything else, like stupid holidays, I can't pay for. Maybe holidays I'll pay for, but stupid designer bags, stupid this, stupid that, I'm not going to pay for. It's going to pile up. It's going to hurt me. I think it's telling them the truth is the best way to go. This kid. Okay, I think I'm going to fuck it up my food. And I will do the choices in my head. I just bought a skipping rope today. Four pounds. Crazy. Four pounds bullshit. Man. Four pounds bullshit. I swear I want to beat my cat. He's fucking up my food in the kitchen, bro. I'm joking. <laughs> oh, Peter's ass. He's moving. Oh, my. Uh, Peter, call Peter. Animal abuse. Oh. Huh. You didn't touch any of it. Oh. Wow, 
Because then you get quiet. Come on, 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 come on. I'm gonna close the door on his ass. Close the door. Oh, that scared him. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. Bring your ass, bring your ass. You can't see him. I'm just aggressively petting him, that's it. Oh, this video is so scuffed. I don't feel like I'm overall sharp already. Okay, guys, next one. Bye bye.